Hello everyone, welcome to the Developers and Coders Club of NIT Agartala. So today we are going to solve code forces round 901 division 2 first problem that is jellyfish and undertail. So here is the problem statement. Flowey has planted a bomb in Snowdin. The bomb has a timer that is initially set to B. Every second the timer will decrease by 1. When the timer reaches 0, the bomb will explode. Okay. To give the residents of Snowdin enough time to evacuate, you will need to delay the bomb from exploding for as long as possible. Okay. You have n tools. Each tool can only be used at most once. If you use the ith tool, the timer will decrease by xi. However, if the timer is changed to an integer larger than a, the timer will be set to a set to a due to a bug. So here it is given that if we choose ith tool out of n tools, then our timer will be increased by xi. Okay, and if this summation is greater than a then our timer is set to a understood now so the basic thing is that firstly we have given three integers a b and n a denotes the maximum value of bombs timer means the, if the timer is greater than a then it is set to a okay the second integer is b which is denoting the initial value of the timer of the bomb okay and the third integer n is the number of tools which we are going to use so the second line of test case uh, is containing n integers xi x2 x1 x2 up to xn okay which denotes the number of timer uh, which is increased by uh, the number of uh, the timer the number the timer can increase by using the ith tool okay so how we will solve the problem so the basic logic behind this is that we will decrease the timer up to one second okay suppose that uh, currently our timer showing five seconds that after five seconds the bomb will explode so we will use the tool at one second okay when one second is remaining okay we will use the tool when one second is remaining so just check the code uh, just check the logic once so look here in the first test case our a equal to 5 our a equal to 5 b equal to 3 n equal to 3 and the vector v is 117 a means after 5 second means if the timer is greater than 5 second then it will be set to 5 second b equal to 3 means initially the bomb timer is started from 3 second and n equal to 3 means we have total 3 tools and these 3 tools have timer 1 second 1 second and 7 seconds okay means we can increase our timer by these seconds by using the tools so how we will go through Firstly, our B is 3. So, our bomb starts from 3 seconds. So, when bomb is showing 3 seconds, then we will come up to 1 second. Okay, now. So, we will just subtract 3 minus 2, which is equal to 1. Okay. So, the total seconds, uh, the total seconds which, uh, uh, the, the total seconds will be 2 okay uh, means uh, 2 seconds are uh, 2 seconds already passed and only 1 second is remaining okay now then for j equal to 0 and b equal to 3 we, we pass 2 seconds and our sum equal to 2 okay then again for j equal to 0 now our b is 1 so now we will add the first element of vector 1 1 second that means we used the first tool okay so our new timer will be 2 seconds and then we will subtract 1 second from it because we we are uh, we are entering into the second seconds okay so the total b equal to 1 
and our new sum is equal to this 2 plus this 1 okay again in the next loop if our b equal to 1 then again we will use the second tool okay so if we will use the second tool then again our timer will increase by 1 okay so our new timer uh, if our timer is again increased by 1 then we will decrease it up to 1 so how we will decrease it up to 1 we will uh, simply do minus 1 okay so our b is equal to 1 and our sum is equal to 3 plus 1 which is 4 again our b equal to 1 then again we will uh, iterate uh, in next loop uh, in next iteration 1 plus 7 we used our last tool okay so the timer is 1 plus 7 which is greater than 5 so if it is greater than 5 then our timer will be set to 5 understood now and then we will decrease our timer up to 1 second so how we will decrease up to 1 second we will simply subtract 5 minus 4 okay so our b equal to 1 second and our total sum is 4 plus this 4 that means we have already passed 4 seconds so our total sum is 8 okay so now our all tools are used okay and total we have uh, 8 seconds okay we have passed already 8 seconds we have passed 8 seconds but still our timer is showing 1 second means after 1 second our bomb will explode okay now so our result will be what 8 plus 1 which is 9 second i hope you understand you understood uh, next check the second test case so in second test case our a is 7 b is 1 n is 5 and this is b so basically a is 7 means if the timer will cross 7 second then it will be set to 7 second okay and b equal to 1 means that uh, b equal to 1 means that uh, our timer starts from 1 second and n equal to 5 means we have 5 tools okay and the times for timer for each five each of the five tools are given one two five six and eight so again we start from we start from j equal to zero so if what was the logic the logic was that if our b is not equal to one then we will decrease it up to one and if our b is equal to one then we will add the then we will use our tools okay so here our b is 1 so simply we use our first tool so we will use the first uh, this tool uh, which have 1 second so 1 plus 1 is 2 2 seconds so we will decrease it up to 1 so how we will decrease it we will simply subtract it by 1 so our b is 1 and our sum is 0 plus 1 understood now our b is again 1 so we will use the second tool so our second tool have 2 seconds time so we will simply add 2 seconds so now the new timer will be 3 seconds so we will decrease it up to 1 so how we will decrease it we will simply subtract it by 2 so 3 minus 2 equal to 1 ok then our sum will be equal to 1 plus this 2 k ok so our sum will be 3 seconds ok now again our b equal to 1 then we will put here b b equal to 1 and if b equal to 1 then again we will use our third tool which is equal to 5 timer 5 seconds timer so 1 plus 5 equal to 6 so, uh, which is again less than 7 because our a is 7 okay now. so which is less than 7 so again we will decrease it up to 1 second so how we will decrease it subtract it by 5 so 6 minus 5 is 1 and our sum will be equal to 3 plus this 5 which is 8 seconds so already we have passed 8 seconds now our again b equal to 1 so we will use the next tool 1 plus 6 and we will decrease it up to 1 second so 7 minus 6 which is equal to 1 and our sum will be equal to 8 plus 6 which is 14 now our b is 1 so again 1 plus we will use our last tool so our last tool have 8 seconds timer so 8 plus 1 which is 9 but 9 is greater than 7 so if our timer is greater than a which is 7 then we will set it to 7 so the timer is set to 7 and we will decrease from 7 to 1 so we will just subtract it by 6 so 7 minus 6 is 1 
so our sum will be equal to 14 plus this 6 because we have already passed 6 seconds okay so our sum is 20 and our b is 1 so our all tools are used now so and uh, our timer is still showing 1 second so our answer will be what 20 second plus 1 second which is 21 second so i hope all of you understood the logic behind this so let's check the code so here is the code so look here firstly we have sorted the vector okay uh, if it is not sorted okay uh, means uh, this vector is the uh, timer of the tools okay now so now uh, in this for loop we will just check that if b is not equal to 1 so if b is not equal to 1 then we just decrease it up to 1 so sum is equal to sum plus b minus 1 and b is equal to 1 okay and again we will not complete the loop we will again go to this step okay and we will again check that if b is equal to 1 then if b is equal to 1 then we will use our first tool okay now so now b equal to 1 then it will go into this else condition so b plus vj we will use our first tool okay uh, likewise uh, we will use our first tool and if this b plus vj is greater than a means which is greater than uh, a uh, so we will set b equal to a minus 1 okay and sum equal to sum plus b minus 1 okay so if all these things will happen uh, you can easily uh, understood understand this code okay by the logic if you have understood it okay so now uh, after all these things uh, uh, we are uh, observing that at the last uh, iteration our b is 1 okay means uh, we have to uh, add one second to our final answer okay now so here i have added one second that is if j equal to n minus 1 that is for our last iteration and if b is greater than 0 okay then just simply add sum to sum sum equal to sum plus b okay and then just print sum so i hope all of you understood the basic logic behind this if you have any doubt then you can comment down below